Retention ponds are man-made bodies of water designed to temporarily hold stormwater runoff with the purpose of protecting the surrounding area from flooding. By creating a freshwater habitat, one of the consequences, whether intentional or not, is that a whole bunch of displaced critters will try to move in and establish a foothold on the property. For this senior living community situated along the Erie Canal, managing the rapidly growing muskrat population is crucial for protecting residents and the groundskeeping staff. This is just pure mayhem. These muskrats have really done some damage here and down the line, it can really impact whoever is going to be maintaining the landscaping. Not just the landscape guys, but somebody that's walking their pet around here. You know, obviously we got pets here in this neighborhood and they come walk their pet around and they step into one of these holes, it's game over. Not only does the bank erosion pose an immediate hazard, but the long-term consequences of going unchecked can lead to major alterations to the habitat, which could lead to even more unwanted pests flourishing as a result. In some cases, destabilizing the soil can lead to the collapse of large trees, creating potential all-you-can-eat buffets for wood-destroying insects. Continued burrowing can also lead to the creation of mosquito breeding grounds when pockets of still water are formed in the swampy conditions. The delicate balance of an ecosystem depends on managing the populations of pests and wildlife. Prevention of these cascading effects starts with vigilance and regular maintenance. In your estimation, what's a healthy population to have? So that way you're not completely eradicating all of them. You can have a healthy ecosystem, but they're not doing all this damage. One family, but on a maintaining level. They're gonna help with the cattail population, but over time, they're gonna do what we're seeing over there at that pond. So you really gotta stick with this and oh, do yeah. kind of recurring checkups, right? We're gonna do 10 initial visits here of trapping, take out as many as we can on each of the ponds. Then we're gonna come out twice a year to maintain the population. So I'll come out for five days, once in the fall, and then in the spring to maintain the population. What many people misunderstand about wildlife trapping and even pest control in general is the intent behind a solution and what to expect as a pragmatic result. A major reason why we prefer the term wildlife management rather than exterminator. Our goal here is not to get rid of every muskrat because you're not going to get rid of every muskrat, you know. There's no invisible bubble over the pond like any other wildlife job. We're always going to have new visitors coming. 